So, until just a moment ago, here I was struggling to figure out what else to record for today and for uploading purposes. So I decided, eventually, to talk about funny stories because one happened last night. My dad and brother were all arguing and stuff, you know, back and forth, back and forth, you know, the works, the usual at this point. And then, you know... As you know, I had to hear this stuff while I was trying to read and was about to go get ready for bed, you know, brush my teeth, drink some water, and then get into, so lay down on my bed and cuddle some plushies, you know, that sort of thing. As I was headed towards the bathroom anyway, I tried to stop them. Yeah, I tried to stop an argument. Not something I really bothered to ever go out my way of doing, in like four years after doing that, you didn't go well f- around four years ago. I didn't succeed, but I kind of did for like, I don't know, maybe five seconds at most. Actually, no, there's no way. Probably for like two brief moments. I literally, since my dad was the louder one, and he was standing right behind the door to his bedroom, yelling. I decided to pull on the door and close it right on him. Not once, but twice. Although, if I had done it a fair time, I would have been able to partially confirm my own personal theory of trickery. Which happens to coincidentally line up with a... Expression. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. Wait. No, it doesn't work with that phrase. Sorry. It doesn't. Anyway, let's talk more. Let's talk about a couple more interesting and funny quick stories. Do you know it's possible to get hit in the face by a pizza box? Yeah. That can happen to you when the conditions are right. Like, you know, a nice windy day with the sun out. You know, right outside the Cincinnati Art Museum. Why not? Because they have places to sit. Picnic tables, if you will, or blah, blah, blah. My mom brought her nice set together. We got ourselves a nice 20 plus inch big Pizza from Goodfellas Pizza. And we finished it. You know, it was half cheese, half pepperoni. pepperoni. It was very good, by the way. I just wish it wasn't so cold because it took a while for us to get from Goodfellas to the art museum's outdoor area. Yeah. But then we finished it, like I just said. And suddenly, you know, it was windy and all. And then, whoop. I get hit in the face by a pizza box. Yeah, I never expected that to happen, but here we are. I got hit by a pizza box. Achievement earned. 10 gamer points. Woohoo. Now I'm getting hungry for pizza. I brought that upon myself. That's my responsibility. Oh well. That's an, another quick funny story. Oh, yeah, the French fry. So, Orlando, Florida, or more specifically, Disney World, June 2020. We had just, you know, gotten. We were heading to the. I think. I, no, we were most certainly heading back to our hotel. But stopping by a gas station on the way, I think. No, just just the hotel. On the way from the hotel to the hotel from Disney Springs, as we were just there, we got some like Mickey D's for dinner, and I got a large fry as usual. And then when I accidentally dropped one of my fries into the f- car floor when I was eating I announced 
I dropped a fry and I ate it. My mom, not hearing that last part, said, Can I have the fry? I proclaimed I ate it. Okay, I might have actually told that story in another video. But hey, it's fun to recount every once in a while. So I am not going to complain. Anyway, let's see what else is there. Mm, um, yes, I know exactly one more story to tell. The night of pure comedic chaos between my boyfriend and I. And it was back in November. We got in the call usual time, as we do almost no, not so remote nights nowadays, but you know, a good portion of them. It just depends on the week and all that jazz. Anyway, we got a Discord video call and we just, you know, it started with one joke. One was made a joke and it just started escalating from there. We just ended up making so many jokes and saying so many ridiculous things. We were absolutely chaotic and laughing our asses off. It was absolutely wonderful. And in our Discord server, we have quotes from that night that can be read in channels. I would go over the details more, but honestly, I've forgotten more of the specifics, unfortunately. Except one thing. I accidentally said, Bearless knows. I'm not sure what a bearless nose is, but apparently it's a thing now because I said a bearless nose instead of noseless bear. And that's how I'm gonna end it. Bearless nose.